Hello and welcome to the first video of Jolly History. In the olden days, many people used to take on lots of wives. In some countries, there were even emperors who had 1,000 wives. <gasps> who knew? But today, we are going to be talking about a well-known English king called Henry VIII. Now, you might have certainly heard about him, but he's most famously known for his six wives, and he also loved to behead people. Henry VIII's first wife was Catherine of Aragon. Now, before Catherine was married to Henry, she actually was married to his older brother, which was Arthur. But he died of a disease when he was 17. So sad. So, she married Henry, and she had a daughter called Mary the First with Henry, but Henry wanted a male as the heir of the throne. So after 20 years of marriage, they divorced each other. So Henry fell in love with one of her ladies in waiting, Anne Boleyn. She had an even sadder fate than Catherine. Now, Henry VIII married his second wife, Anne Boleyn, but she was a Protestant and Henry was a Catholic. The Pope didn't allow the marriage, so Henry turned himself into a Protestant and destroyed a lot of churches in England. <gasps> that is so scary! Now, they had a daughter together which was Elizabeth the first. But Henry was like this. Hmm, she didn't give me a girl. I'm gonna behead her a few months later because of witchery. And because she has six fingers on her right hand. And then Anne would be like this. But it's probably just a genetic disease. And then Henry would reply, no. Go to the beheading machine, you foul creature. His third wife was Jane Seymour, but unlike the previous wives, she was not coronated and so she never became queen consort. In October 1537, she gave birth to a son, Edward VI. But two weeks later, she died of a fever. And she was buried next to Henry because legends say that Henry loved Jane the most. His fourth wife was Anne of Cleves. Before they got married, Henry sent a painter to paint the Duke of Cleves, two daughters, Anne and Amelia. Henry liked Anne's picture and started arranging their wedding. But once Anne met him in real life, Henry thought he was so ugly that she was called the Mayor of Flanders. <gasps> what a shocker! So, it was too late and they got married, but very soon after, they divorced each other. So, she was actually the luckiest. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because she outlived all the other wives of Henry VIII. Henry VIII's fifth wife was Catherine Howard. 
So, some of you might not know, but Catherine was just a teenager when they got married. She was about 15. What a shocker! <gasps> so, they were married for a while, but afterwards, she was accused of adultery, which was basically having affairs with another person outside the marriage, who was Thomas Culpepper. So, both of them were beheaded. Catherine was about 16 or 17 at that time. And finally, the last wife has come, Catherine Parr. Now, she was actually a pretty smart woman. She had written three books. That was an accomplishment at that time. Now, she was actually the most married English queen in history with four husbands. Well, I know that's not as much as Henry VIII, but it is a lot already. Oh my gosh. Henry was actually Catherine's third husband already. Now, Henry actually died one year before Catherine did. So, Catherine was a widow. But, Catherine got a fourth husband. But, she died due to childbirth complications. Did you know that Henry actually had one more mistress? And her name was Elizabeth Blount. So they had a child together. Elizabeth was actually Catherine's lady-in-waiting. So the child was illegitimate, but Henry actually acknowledged him. His name was Henry Fitzroy. You probably never heard of him before. Thank you for watching this episode of Jolly History. I hope you learned something new about this gruesome, powerful king.